everybody, welcome back to another episode of Earthly Headlines. Uh, today we're going to talk about Siberian ancestry of people in mainland Finland. This is another one of those studies where it makes me think, well, why did this is the first ever genetic study in of people in Finland? They didn't do this before? Surprisingly, they didn't. So these researchers from Max Planck Institute, which by the way is probably one of the leading institutes for anything ar archaeological and anything to do with genetics seems to come from the Max Planck Institute. They teamed up with the University of Helsinki and they analyzed the first ancient DNA from mainland Finland. So again, it made me think, wow, this is the first one. And it's it, that, that tells me right there that there's a long way to go in terms of getting to the truth of not only the peopling of Finland, but what, where the different people came from in terms of genetics. I'll give you guys a little bit of background information about that whole uh, peopling situation. So what they did was they took bones from three different archaeological sites and they extracted DNA and they analyzed it. And what happened was they re it revealed the possible path along which the ancient people of Siberia spread all the way to Finland and northwestern Russia. They went to this place called Fenoscandia. So Fenoscandia basically is Sweden, Finland, and Norway, this entire peninsula complex, <laughs> I suppose. They specifically focused on the northeastern Kola Peninsula. I think, yeah, right here. So this is the Kola Peninsula. These are here are the Scandinavian mountains. And then this, and there's a site here called, oh, Levon Luta. After taking the DNA samples, they found that the earliest evidence of Siberian an ancestry was in a population inhabiting the Kola Peninsula here, and here, and here, this thing here. So the earliest people in this in this entire uh, Fenoscandia, the Sami people come here, come from, come from here. Which is, the Sami people, by the way, are the people who who have the closest. After the study came out, it was found that out of people from Western Europe, Northwestern Europe, and Fenoscandia, the Sami people have the most Siberian uh, genetics compared to everybody else. So from there, they're able to date that the people got, I mean, that it dates to around 4,000 years ago, basically, that the earliest evidence of the, of the Siberian ancestry coming into the region, 4,000 years ago. And remember, this is still a working number because this is the first study of ancient uh, Finnish genome period. So these are just starter numbers. This genetic ancestry la then later spread to populations living in Finland. The study also found that people genetically similar to present-day Sami people inhabited areas much more southern parts of Finland than the Sami today. So this map here um, shows the extent to which they, the modern Sami people inhabit now. But I think before a few, the Iron Age the Iron Age and further, so 1200 BC and on uh, and older, uh, people the Sami people tended ha to have inhabited way more south down here, these, these gray parts here, so parts of Norway, Sweden, and the southern part of Finland here. This has been an ongoing debate for a long time, but I think with in light of all these uh, genetic uh, uh, results, these this. The, the results of these genetic studies, rather, um, it's pretty conclusive that they were living there further south a long time ago, and for some reason they were driven up northward. So the genome-wide genetic data from 11 individuals were retrieved. Eight individuals came from the Kola Peninsula. So from the eight, they, were, they, came, they got eight individuals from two separate archaeological sites in, in uh, that peninsula. So eight individuals came... I mean, six individuals came from a burial dated 3,500 years ago, and then two from an 18th to 19th century Sami cemetery. So the 18th to 19th century uh, cemetery is more of the modern Sami people, closer to the modern, obviously. So you have a, a modern, a modern uh, test, and then a more ancient test dating to uh, the, the stone, the right at the end of the Stone Age. They found that the oldest sample studied here had the highest proportion of Siberian ancestry. So go figure. The early, the further back you go, the more pure the Siberian bloodline is, uh, compared to the more contemporary uh, Sami DNA test. 
And then the other three individuals were analyzed from a water burial, which there is about, about 100 bodies in Levon Luta, Flin Finland. So that's down here in southern Finland, uh, southwestern Finland right here where my cursor is, right here, yeah. See where Saima is? It's to the west of it, so around there. So they had two up here in Kola Peninsula, two sites, and then the third site is down south here. So this site, Levan Luta, is one of the oldest known burials in Finland. They found over 100 bodies, and it used to be a small lake or pond, and it basically helped preserve the, the remains. So much so that they've done a bunch of tests on them since this test, I, I believe. So what they found was among uh, modern European populations, the Sami have the largest proportion of this ancient Siberian ancestry out of all the people. Worldwide, not just limited to that uh, Fennoscandia, and Ghanasan, I think that's how you say it, people from northern Siberia have the largest proportion of ancient Siberian ancestry, period. So of all the ethnic groups uh, near, near in or around Siberia, the Nganasan people have the most, and let me show you where that is on the map. That's right here, between the Kara Sea and the Laptev Sea, this whole region here, this is where they uh, come from. So the, the people here have the most uh, purest form uh, compared to other people living right now of ancient Siberian DNA. The bottom line is the strong genetic connection between ancient Finnish and ancient Siberian populations is very strong. That's what the results show. So this suggests that ancient populations from Siberia may have also shared a subsistence strategy, languages, cultural behaviors, etc., values with Bronze Age and Iron Age Finns. So Bronze Age, again, is about 3,500 years and later. And Iron Age is about 12, oh no, 35, Bronze Age is about 3500 to 1200 uh, BC, and then 1200 BC on, uh, onwards is Iron Age, uh, until the Modern Age, obviously. Um, so, that, so those populations have a strong link to uh, populations that weren't not that long ago of Northwestern Europe. So how did all these people travel that great a distance? So the people with these genetics and... Here's Siberia right here. They have such a strong genetic links, but the distance is so far. I mean, we're talking almost 3,000 kilometers or something like that. So what must have happened? And they also share, they're also part of the same Uralic language family, which, which again, that th there must have been some sort of network going on. Last episode, I talked about a network between Neanderthals 70,000 plus years ago. Well, these people have language and and we're seeing a, a similar thing except further uh way longer distance than the neanderthals were one one uh, speculation is ancient finnish populations possibly lived a mobile nomadic life trading and moving over a large range they also found that the population in levan luto was more closely related to modern day sami people than the non-sami finnish population today so that makes a lot of sense. If if those ain't if that burial ground in in southern Finland, if that area was previously inhabited by by the Sami people and were and then were later pushed back, if they if the Sami people inhabited down here and then were later pushed back to what it is now today, then that makes sense that there are still people, uh, especially ancient Finnish people. Uh, who share that same bloodline and it, it was it was only until later that the northwestern Europeans pushed up the Vikings pushed up and spread their borders either by war or by um, uh, absorption and I, I don't think they there were there's evidence of wars up here I think they just absorbed the Sami people into uh, their their culture if, if I had to guess uh, people closely related to the Sami inhabited much more southern regions of Finland than Sami do today, explains one of the co-authors. Um, interestingly, a recent linguistic study suggested that the place, the place names around Levan Luta trace back to Sami languages. That, so again, you, we see this linguistic residue of, these, of this uh, ancient uh, bloodline of people. And I don't, obviously that's not a coincidence, right? That, that makes a lot of sense. If they, if... It makes a lot of sense if these people had had inhabited the area earlier. Now, the huge debate, or what had been a long ongoing debate prior to these studies, were that no, the uh, the, the the Sami people never inhabited 
most of uh, uh, Thanos uh, Scandia, uh, they were just relegated to the northern coast, and that's it. But then this this uh, obviously suggests otherwise. They end they end with uh, the more DNA studies from the area will be necessary to better understand where the patterns we've seen are representative of Finland as a whole. Well, yeah, obviously, because this is the only one that you guys have done. There, the obviously was more and more studies from a varied uh, a sample of people. You'll get an even clearer picture on what was going on. But even the initial uh, results are very telling of what was going on in the area at the time. So the only question left, or one of the big questions left, is the Siberian. These ancient Siberians. Where exactly did they? concentrate and how many of them were there because it seems like the Siberians either went west to Finland or east across into Alaska which is or was it a separate group group maybe there was a group down in Asia and China that went up through Siberia and across Alaska and then there were other Siberians up here that just went west I mean, I don't know the answers to these questions. These are just all suggestions off the top of my dome. But, I mean, either one's pl plausible or, or it could be both. Uh, either way, you, you have linguistic evidence, you have genetic evidence now, and uh, who knows what other, maybe some more archaeological evidence will come out. Uh, either way, I don't think it's a coincidence that these people not only share the same genetics, but also are in the same language family. And if you look at pictures of them, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, like, so here's here's three Sami women. Um, this is from 1928. So these are way more modern people. Um, this is 1900, and you can tell that they definitely have a look about them that are a lot different. Here's one of their traditional raised houses. That's pretty wild. Um, I think this is a, f uh, yeah, this is one of the fjords that they lived in. And uh, here's a tent, or a teepee rather. If I had to guess, and I think a lot of, a lot of scientists believe that when the, all this was under a glacier uh, pre-ice age, and then once the glacier started receding, more and more land was revealed. And I would have to say a population of people that had Siberian ancestry just followed the receding glaciers because they they mainly hunted they they were fur trappers they were hunting reindeer um, they were fishing so it's logical for them to f keep following where the lands are becoming revealed for a number of reasons for grazing more again more reindeer more things to hunt Pro basically prosperity in a sense uh, to uh, a good way to live the life that they were already living it, it more land is just better period for them so that's probably what happened where before then they must have come they must have come from siberia or something because all this again was uninhabitable it didn't open up until about twelve thousand or so years ago so let me know what you guys think you guys have any knowledge about ancient finland about maybe that language system i know that finnish is a really complex language that is an anomaly compared to other uh european uh languages uh, maybe you guys know something about Siberian, ancient Siberian DNA, ancient Siberian populations, so on and so forth. Just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow.